It's Christmas in September, or as close to it as these Cuban music students can get. Horns to Havana, an independent project of some of America's top jazz musicians, donated enough instruments to make up entire jazz orchestras to four Havana music schools. And I just remember kids coming up to me 10 years ago with instruments put together with um, masking tape and paper and uh, paper and elastic bands and thinking, oh my gosh, they need this. They really, really need this. Erica von Kleist joined jazz at Lincoln Center Musicians, Carlos Enrique's bass and artistic director of Horns to Havana, Vincent Gardner, trombone, Ali Jackson, drums, and Victor Goines, saxophone and clarinet, to give classes, mentoring sessions, and workshops to the talented young Cubans they had met when Jazz at Lincoln Center performed in Havana last October. What made me become part of this program was the love for the music uh, and the love for improvement and the love for life, uh, which was a major reason why myself and many of us, we, we chose to come back. Uh, Kids at the National Art School strutted their stuff for the American guests, and the Americans took them through their paces, teaching the differences between Cuban rhythms and the jazz beat. This class was especially about workshops of jazz history, but it actually turned out where we actually used their music, and we used the elements of jazz in their music. So we talked about balance, riffs, uh, improvisation, how to work with the rhythm section. So even though the class wasn't all about jazz, we used the elements of it and it worked out perfect. At the Guillermo Tomas Conservatory in the mainly black town of Guanabacoa, the American jazz greats taught in classrooms badly in need of paint, but full of talent. Well, I mean, these kids, they have so much, they have first so much talent and so much drive to learn how to play. I mean, everybody can play. And play they did bringing their visitors to their feet. It has just been beyond our expectations, really. Uh, we've gotten everything we want to have done. They've been really, really appreciative of everything. Lots of love, lots of enthusiasm, lots of commitment. Um, we just hope we get to come back and do it again soon. Horns to Havana, the participants tell me, will not end when they fly home this Sunday. More exchanges are in the wings. Portia Siegelbaum for CBS News in Havana.